Although the drama with my ex-girlfriend is over. I decided to make another video on her once again. But this time, this should be my last one on her. Because my friend confirmed that she only doing this for attention. But sorry for being kinda hypocritical. Let's start. But before the horrible argument and bullcrap that I've been dealing with. She post an offensive picture of me and my friend, which was very rude and racist. Considering my friend was black. I'm not a black person. But this is offensive. I could be wrong but. Want me to tell you why she start forcing to date her after breaking up with her. It's because Addison Ray's boyfriend didn't dump her when she got hated. Well, obviously. The accusations on Pink is true. You're a racist, homophobic, and transphobic, search up child, porn, fake your suicide, probably three times. All this explained from my rant on her. That's it from that. Sorry for having a long ass introduction. Let's start off what happened. To start off, she made a joke about 9-11, and think it was funny, and claimed that the terrorist did the right thing. Which was outright disrespectful and offensive for people who died in 9-11. You should know that not all, jokes can be funny. She also mentioned Roro Chan. Didn't she even realize that Roro Chan was a real person? Next, mentioned this before. She said she's on her way to self-harm herself, just because I refused to date her again. Which she didn't it anyways. Every time I was inactive, she told me to wake up. And if I was silent or don't respond, she will say silent moment. Which was so annoying. She, also hoped that I got doxxed and raped, hoped I choked on my own dick. Yet again, disgusting and cruel for her to say that and a lot of nasty and rude stuff she made. As usual and not showing proof, but she's acting horny and sent me a link of her, again. Making silent horny sounds. I think that was before she joked about 9-11. Correct me if I'm wrong though. She unsurprisingly. She manipulated to hate Jack Moore, aka Dream Splatter. Which was uncalled for, if you ask me. She even had the audacity to blame her actions on me and my friends, including her exes. I told you to stop. But she refused and start going ape shit. That should be enough for all of the- For I end my update rant video on her. You guys may be asking why I made this after the drama with her is over. 1. The arguments with me and my friends have faced with Pinkstone has proven my disappointment with her, and officially pushed my limits too much to the point I felt like I'm never dating her again, after all of unforgivable actions she made on other people, especially what she did, to me during the drama with her. 2. I was pretty much right about her not changing her own behavior, she's definitely acting like her 2019 and 2020 self. Even before it was her girlfriend, and the horrible drama would never happen, she's still homophobic, especially her thumbnail where she call Laporte 124 the F slur on her now terminated channel. And 3. As of my friend confirmed, she did all of, this horrible stuff for attention, including the fact she will stop doing this if I date her again, unfortunately, she's hasn't changed. And instead, she went backwards and made herself a huge dumbass. In conclusion guys, Mitsaki, or should I say Julia, is nothing but a amateur, ignorant, egotistical selfish brat, who really needs to get proper help. As I have truly lost my whole respect for, her, and there's no reason for me to date her again. As she crossed the line for offending everybody, and made herself a hypocrite where she got mad at us for leaking her family members and her face, when she doxxed Red Slash's location, which made him feel suicidal, and doxxed both the Val 1C3's house and face. And made an excuse where she said that criminals were mean to be doxxed. Which was, never the answer. As doxxing people back does not make you better. Especially if they're a criminal. Oh my god. Yeah. That's pretty the end of this update video I made on her, goodbye everyone.